Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Pam. I just saw a very, very beautiful girl in the street uh, when I was going to the shop. She was beautiful and she was curvy. She had a fat tummy like me and she was not afraid to show it. Well, she wasn't showing her stomach, but she was wearing like this tight fitting um, dress that was basically showing her shape, the tummy, the bum, the hips. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. She was just walking in confidence. She didn't look at anyone. She wasn't like trying to hide anything or act like this is such an embarrassment. Oh my gosh. And I was looking at this woman. I was thinking, oh, I wish I could do that because she has a body just like mine. I've got a fat stomach. I'm a big girl right now. You know, my skinny days are long gone way behind me no matter what i do this is my body and i've kind of accepted it i'm at an 80 percent level where i have accepted it but why are we not allowed to have a fat stomach <laughs> i mean maybe we are allowed but for me it's in my head that if i go outside and i'm extremely bloated and my tummy is even more um out than usual oh my goodness me there's just no way you know i feel embarrassed i'm hiding things i'm wearing extra layers of clothing and jackets and just just feeling like i don't deserve to be a human being and why this woman i promise you i wanted to say something to her i wanted to say oh my gosh you are so beautiful you are so gorgeous but you know she was doing her thing and i promise you everyone was looking at her like a lot of women and some men were looking at her as well because she just had this confidence of just being she just had this beautiful energy you know her makeup was beautiful simple you know she had her hair in a ponytail um the nails were done nicely and she was just walking graciously and you know the confidence that was coming through this woman was unbelievable i actually stood there with my mouth wide open thinking why can't i do that why can't i be that confident to walk around like that why why are we so ashamed why are we not allowed to age you know i mean we all have different bodies um some of us are skinny some of us are curvy some of us are short some of us are tall we all have different bodies you know some of us are athletic whatever so I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start embracing my natural curvy body that I have because me trying to lose weight and this because I lose weight. I lose the weight. I always manage it. I lose the weight and then w I do some stupid diet. I lose the weight and then boom, boom, within a week, two weeks, I start gaining it all back again and double, triple. Also, I'm on prescribed medication at the moment, so that kind of helped me, you know, get more bigger throughout the years. But uh, yeah, medication is good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop my medication just so that I can be skinny. So this is where I'm at right now. I'm tired. I'm tired. This is my body trying to tell me something. This is how I'm supposed to look. And I'm not gonna fight with my genes anymore, my genetics anymore. I mean. I don't eat that much unhealthy foods. Yes, I eat, I, I eat quite a lot of chocolates, but that's it really. The rest of the foods I eat quite healthy. But then I look at my family. I look at my sisters, my cousins, my aunties, my mom, my grandma. We all have the same kind of shape. So I'm like, who am I fighting with here? I mean, I'm not obese. I mean, I'm not like ridiculously, superly overweight. I'm just like... I'm bigger than what I was, you know, I'm a curvy woman. And I'm not gonna be embarrassed about that anymore because I am so tired of hiding it. Like I have a, I have a chin, like I have chin fat. Oh my gosh, when I walk outside, before I go outside, I'm like doing things and I'm hiding it. And when, I, when I'm walking outside and I see someone cute or whatever, and he's like coming from my side, I actually do things to my to my neck and I stretch it out and I look the other way and I have a new habit that I do. I 
I think I'm looking cute, but I don't think I'm looking cute at all. I put my hand up here and I'm just like, I'm walking like this outside. I'm just like hiding my chin away. And that is so stupid. I mean, that is so dumb. If someone is attracted to you, uh, it should be with fat chin and all, and personality and all, and fat stomach and all. So I'm going to try this. This girl inspired me. This girl really, really inspired me. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to be proud of my chin fat. Although I would like to do a liposuction. But for now, I'm going to be proud of my chin fat. I'm not going to be ashamed of my chin fat anymore. I'm not going to be ashamed to have my fat tummy show anymore. Because when, I, when the wind blows, and I'm wearing like something that's very light. And the wind blows like the clothes against my tummy. And then you can see the shape. It's like... I could jump out of my skin and I'm walking outside. It's like I don't know where to go. And because I have social anxiety, like I feel like everyone is literally staring at me and laughing at me and judging me. That's what it feels like to have social anxiety. And then I'm just like, I usually just drop whatever I'm doing. I don't care where I am, who is with me. I just go home. Go home and I cry. Oh my gosh, everyone. It was laughing at my fat tummy. But of course, if if you look up, you'll see no one cares. No one's looking at you. People got their own problems. So, I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start accepting that I am a curvy woman. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I really love Ashley Graham. She really inspires me. Like, when I'm having one of those one of those moments where i'm just like feeling so big and so fat and like so like ugly and i feel like it's just me i just go to pinterest or to google and i put ashley graham and they show all the ashley graham pictures she's a plus size model although she's lost quite a lot of weight recently i hope she doesn't lose more weight um and i just look at all ashley graham's pictures she's curvy you know like me she's quite taller than me though um she's Obviously, she's a model. Um, and then I look at her tummy, you know, the, the hips. And I'm like, okay, okay, fine. It's not just me. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's it's okay. You know, some of us are curvy. Some of us are skinny. And I just keep saying that over and over my head. And I screenshot all the pictures. And then I see all the other plus size models, how they are rocking it and how they are doing it and stuff. So, yeah, girls. Let's be proud of our curvy bodies, okay? Let's be proud of the fact that if you have had kids, um, that we've we've contributed to society and we shouldn't be made to feel like an embarrassment or whatever and stuff like that. I mean, I'm going through like perimenopause right now. And I used to ask God, like, why is this happening to me? Why me? It's everyone. Okay, that's just how it is. In, on one hand, I'm like, wow, this is the thanks I get for contributing to mankind, really? Wow. But anyway, that's just how it is. That's just nature. This is just, this is just your, this is just the nature of being a woman, you know? So it's like one of those things you can't really fight. You can't get angry. You just have to accept it. And of course, if you really want to lose weight, then go ahead and do it. But my body has literally decided this is the weight we are and we are staying here. When I do force it to lose weight, oh, it messes with my hormones. I become crazy because I have to do these crazy things to lose the weight. Two weeks later, the weight just starts building back up in my body. It's like, you know what? We are going to punish you for putting us through that hell. Give her extra fat. So here we are. Here I am right now. So, yeah, it's fine. Ladies, we are beautiful whether we are skinny or curvy or short or tall, whatever. It does not matter. All that matters is that we live a beautiful and happy life and we don't compare ourselves to anyone because that is the worst. And I always tell myself this every day. I am enough, I have enough, and I have done enough. Anyway, I'm done preaching now. That's all I wanted to say. So, yeah, I'm going to start this new journey of accepting myself. I have a curvy body, and it's fine. It's okay. Okay, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. That's all I wanted to say. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.